Over 100 types of tympanostomy tubes are used in otolaryngology. The surgeon has to compromise on qualities when he chooses a tympanostomy tube because most of them do not combine all the advantages he seeks and even have some disadvantages. The relationship between the tube and the eardrum is affected by the natural migration of the epithelium from the germination area near the umbo to the periphery. The epithelium accumulates on the tube, pushing it and tilting it posteriorly. The inner flange presses on the rim of the perforation, causing avascular necrosis, which widens the perforation when the tube is extruded. This mechanism also occurs in the T-tubes, with pressure concentrating on the rim area, creating a wide perforation due to necrosis. In 15 to 20 percent of T-tubes, the enlarged perforation becomes permanent. The longer the tube is in place, the higher the rate of permanent perforation and thinning of the eardrum. Granulation tissue is another outcome of the crusts that accumulate at the base of the tube. In rigid tubes, there is no control over the retention period. Extraction requires general anesthesia. This is one of the disadvantages the surgeon has to compromise on when choosing the type of tube. Clogging may be difficult to clean, especially in children. The disadvantages of various types of tympanostomy tubes are permanent perforation, granulations, clogging and poor drainage, poor control over the retention period. Presenting the newly designed tympanostomy tube from Otomedics. This soft silicone tube is designed to contact the eardrum at some distance from the rim of the perforation so as not to interfere with the blood supply of the rim. The lumen of the shaft is conical, allowing easy cleaning of clogs. Its flexibility enables repositioning after cleaning. It has a thick anterior arm that resists natural extrusion and a collapse mechanism that is activated by pulling the extraction handle and rotating the tube on its axis during extrusion. The tube has two asymmetrical arms. The thicker arm, designed to resist the pressure of the desquamated epithelium that pushes it posteriorly, anchors the tube in place but preserves the blood supply to the rim area. The other arm helps keep the tube in place and is weaker. By positioning the extraction handle posteriorly, the surgeon can be sure that the tube is positioned in the right direction. The arms tilt upwards to meet the eardrum and divide the pressure equally over the contact area and especially towards their ends. This tube exempts the surgeon from making compromises. It is suitable for every tympanostomy tube insertion case, every age and every middle ear condition. It is suitable for long as well as for very short term retention. When in position in the eardrum, the tube should be cleaned every few months. When the tube has to be removed, the extraction handle is pulled gently, activating the collapse mechanism, and the tube comes out easily. The advantages of the Otomedics tympanostomy tube are preservation of the blood supply to the rim area, easy and quick insertion and removal, excellent retention control, good drainage, easy cleaning, and suitability for every ear without needing to compromise.